A question I'm asked so very often, I'll be traveling to the USA or my husband or my friend will be traveling back from the USA, what baking stuff can I get from there? Great brands, great quality and better prices. Don't miss the chance to get those precious things. Do watch this video. So let's start with an oven thermometer. The oven thermometer helps you cross-check and verify the temperature inside your oven. This is particularly important when you use an OTG for baking. These thermometers go from simple to sophisticated. Do check them out. Good quality non-stick baking pans in standard sizes like 8 and 9 inch round and square, spring form tins, those gorgeous bun pans, tube pans and a lot more. I could kill for this gorgeous bun pan from Nordic Wear. And then there are those standard size loaf tins, madeleine pans, mini loaf pans and a lot more. And then we have these non-stick baking mats. I have not used non-stick baking mats but people who use them swear by them. So do get one which suits your oven size. You can make your own vanilla extract at home. Please do watch this video on how to make it. But commercially sold vanilla extract is supposed to be far superior. So please do get it if you have the chance. You could also buy premium quality and great brands of vanilla beans. And then you could get good quality chocolate, chocolate chips. You'll get these with the brands specifying the chocolate mass and the other details. You can get bittersweet chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate and even unsweetened chocolate. Get a good quality heat proof liquid measuring cup. One from Oven Basics is supposed to be really good. Get standard size measuring spoons with 1 8 teaspoon measure included in it. And do get a citrus zester. I love my microplane zester. It's a great tool to have to get that great citrus aroma and flavor in your bakes and in your desserts. Do check this video on zesting citrus fruits. Dutch processed cocoa has always been on my list to try. I haven't tried it so far. Dutch processed cocoa gives your cakes and bakes a gorgeous dark color. So do get some Dutch processed cocoa and also some normal cocoa in premium brands. Aluminum free baking powder is recommended for better tasting bakes and it's especially helpful in recipes like muffins where the proportion of baking powder is more. So do get the smallest size baking powder boxes available. Baking spray is a mixture of flour and some fat and it helps you grease your tins and pans really well without getting your hands messy. French cooling racks are designed to support very delicate cakes and cookies and also check out these tired ones if you aspire to bake professionally. And that candy thermometer to make all those candies, caramels, custards and more. A pastry blender for making pie crust. You can make your own cake flour and pastry flour at home, but then the commercially made ones are supposed to be far superior, giving better results. Check out whole wheat pastry flour, white whole wheat flour, wandra flour and more. You can watch more on flours in this video here. Good quality color gel for your cakes and your desserts and a small pack will go a long way unless you bake commercially. An instant read thermometer is very useful for checking the temperature of your breads particularly. It helps you know when your bread is baked and done. You can get a lot of good books by famous authors like Rose Baranbaum, Alice Medrich, Dory Greenspan, Peter Reinhardt and a lot more. I could go on and on, start building that precious collection of books now. A cake lifter helps you lift your cakes easily, but I love using it for my puff pastry. A Danish dough whisk helps you mix your sticky bread batter very easily. You could also use it for mixing muffin and pancake batter where you do not want to over mix the batter. A cake caddy helps you store and transport your cakes really easily and safely from one place to another place. Get one with firm clasps. A big round one may be more useful than a square one. And then there are a whole lot of cake decorating tools I don't even want to get started on. I'm not much of a cake decorator.
I could go on and on, but let me stop here. So make that list and keep watching out for those innocent people traveling back from the USA, preferably with less baggage. And have fun with your new toys. So please do leave your comments for me. Tell me what you would like to watch on Cakes and More. Please subscribe. Please stay tuned.